So Instagram is really, really playing with my ass. All this external shit is really trying to fucking stop me from doing what the fuck I'm trying to do. But I'm going to push through. I'm going to make a video real quick. I tried to go on live and my live video did not save and some bullshit. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give you an extra 10 minutes. And we'll see how this shit plays out. Ooh, we're not taking all of that, though. We will take these two. Ooh, and Fuji, though. Maybe we, maybe we are. Maybe we are. Yo. Yo talks about. Ooh, wait. What is this? I might gotta read this because I don't know what planet is that, but I know um Saturn just aligned with the moon last night if i'm not mistaken mm. i got a rolling paper ready for me on the old page mahalo yo is a prayer that asks for the skills wisdom and power needed to get unstuck from the muck <gasps> I had to do this reading, yo. I've been feeling this rhyme from probably the beginning of this year, trying to get me stuck in this muck. What the fuck? <laughs> That's that fucking energy is coming in, trying to fucking stop us from achieving our motherfucking goals, trying to stop us from leveling the fuck up, lighting the fuck up. Hell no. The prayer appeals for assistance in overcoming distress from misfortune due to wrong actions. This prayer speaks of the earth ascending her wisdom to enable us to participate in actions that radiate divine energy back to the creator. If you feel alienated or desperate in any situation, consider whether anything is interfering with your ability to connect with your highest self or purpose another person or nature if we forget to respect the miracle of creation our lives may fall out of balance eo has many different forms so be sure to take inventory of all that is currently manifesting in your life the better you become at recognizing the very various forms of eo the more you can celebrate life's mysteries as you begin to explore the mysteries of you all, remember that some mysteries don't need to be solved, but only acknowledged and participated in. You all appears to remind us that the divine is always with us. Even problems contain divine perfection. Everything is manifesting exactly as it should be, even that which cannot be presently comp that you cannot presently comprehend. Therefore, express gratitude for all of life's mysteries. That was beautiful. I'm a hollow that card. I'm a hollow that. Yes. Yes. And then we had Kane. Kane is creation. Kane speaks of being open to new ways of seeing the situation. Tap the wellsprings of creativity within. Begin again if necessary. Remember that new beginnings flow from Kane's life-giving springs effortlessly. Mahalo, mahalo, Kane. And then we have the beautiful Laka, the Hula Goddess. Inspiration. A sacred inner and outer environment is needed for new... For new what? Growth and balance. Balance, balance periods of activity with recreation, Recep reception, reverence, and reflection are essential. Then we got Puhi, that's the distractions and disruption. Avoid the procrastination that results from perfectionism. Perfection often, often lurks under murky waters. 
The disruption of ideals is often an inevitable part of the manifestation process. Do not allow it to distract you. Continue to progress and things will become clear. And then we have Kapha and Wakea as the last card that talks about struggle and wholeness. Hmm. Oh, I read the, I read one of the cards wrong. Kane was, I'll read them again. But Papa and Wakea speaks of seemingly opposing forces can integrate to bring wholeness. Uh huh. To bring wholeness, growth. What the fuck? See, I did read it right. <laughs> I'm tripping, you see? It's okay. To bring wholeness and growth, yeah? Balance male and female active and passive energies within and outside of yourself by acknowledging contradiction new life and opportunities may emerge let's read that and then maybe i'll close it just to the chant for this card is eola au grant me life from papa and wakea earth mother and sky father the hawaiian islands were born from their human offspring came the taro plant this explains the familiar relationship the hawaiian people have with their lands and the taro wakea is the male god of light and of the heavens he opens the door of the sun papa is the female goddess of earth and the underworld she is the mother of all when Papa and Wakea mated, their union combined the heavenly aspect of Wakea with their earthly aspect of Papa to produce a daughter. They named her Ho'ohoku Okalani, Ho'ohoku Kalani, the heavenly one who made the stars, Ho'ohoku for short. Stars like the Ali'i, royalty, with which they are associated contain both a heavenly nature and an earthly nature. Ho'ohoku Kalani, impregnated with Wakea's light and Papa, Papa's mother earth nature, gave birth to two sons, both named Haloa, long root stock. The first grew into a taro root. The second became the ancestor of all human beings. Although this creation story may sound romantic, make no mistake about it. The productive union of Papa and Wakea's first daughter was desire, deception, jealousy, and anger. It happens as follows. Papa, the wife of Wakea, bears a daughter, Ho'ohoku Kalani, who grows to be a beautiful girl. Wakea desires her, but finds no way to gratify his desire without arousing Papa's jealousy. His kahuna, Komoava suggests that he in arrange a kapu, restricted, nights when the husband and wife shall separate. Papa is unsuspicious and consents to the kapu. On the second of the kapu nights, when he takes ho'ohoku, he unluckily oversleeps. Papa discovers the trick. Wakea and Papa separate, one splitting from the in the other's face. To make matters worse, Ho'ohoku, his first child is born deformed in the form of a rootstock and is thrown away at the east corner of the house. A taro plant grows in this spot. So when the second child of his union is born, Wakea names his child Haloa, Longstock, after its deformed sibling. The story of Papa and Wakea has been described as a mythical conception of a dark, formless spirit world presided over the female element and a world of form being bored out of the spirit world and which to it was again returned, made visible and active in this human life as the impregnating male element. The struggle between Papa and Wakea may be related to the struggle between old and new order of Hawaiian gods and relations. A Hawaiian word for the struggle 
is Ola'a Ume Ume, which refers to the struggle between life and death. The relationship between procreation and death is universal. This struggle is illustrated in the story of many cultures around the world, that is, as it is the story of Papa and Wakea, where a plant renews a form of being. The word Ume Ume means to pull, to attract, to draw. As in the game Ume Ume, in this game, the names of the members of the opposing sex are paired with each other and the couples paired, pair off. Perhaps the name of this game reminds us that there is usually tension, if not struggle, in sexual attra attraction. Papa and Wakea symbolize duality and the struggle of opposing forces. Their struggle result in new life leading to birth of humans and terror. As those that they are close to nature know the struggle for survival that leads to creation and growth demands the continual ability to respond to never, to never ending series of events and circumstances. These events circumstan and circumstances demand that we sharpen our skills, our senses, and our ability to interact effectively with the constant flux and tension that exists in our inner and outer worlds. Struggle may emerge a form of tension between the various contradic contradictory parts of ourselves, such as masculine and feminine aspects. This tension may play out as struggle between our rational and intuitive sides, our male, aggressive, and our female, passive selves. If one part becomes too dominant, the other will be sure to find a way to express itself. For example, a man who denies his feminine aspect may have a diminished capacity to experience emotions and may behave in rational, irrational and or impulsive ways that are destructive to himself or those around him. A woman denies her masculine side may be so desperate for control that she allows herself to Im appear incompetent so that she can manipulate others to take care of the matter she could take care of herself. These struggles between the masculine and feminine aspects are not gender specific. A man with the weakened masculine aspect may appear wishy-washy and indecisive just as a woman with a weakened feminine aspect may be unable to be vulnerable and open enough to gener gen genuinely relate to others. Destructive struggles occur when the aspect of one becomes too dominant at the expense of others. Papa and Wakea remind you the importance of examining and accepting the contradictions in your inner and outer worlds, each aspect contributes to the whole as the various aspects of struggle are art articulated, expressed, acknowledged, and accepted, new life emerges. As the various aspects of a struggle are articulated, expressed, acknowledged, and accepted, new life emerges accepting emotions for what it is letting them stay in motion coming into balance with ourselves yeah that's what it's about right now i love you all